Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs, you guys. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a marvelous, marvelous day. I know that I am. Today I wanted to do a small little share of um, another AliExpress haul. Now these are items that I've been purchasing for the past couple of months and they're just starting to slowly trickle in. I'm still waiting for a few more packages, but um, this is the one. these are the ones that I've gotten so far. And that way so that I don't end up making like a super massive, huge video, um, I figured I will go ahead and share some of these things with you guys now. Um, so, let's see. First up on the table, um, I found... Whoa. I got this massive um, lot of gears. And they have different styles. We have some, some round ones like those, smaller ones. We have these um, with like these beveled um, type edges, like the scalloped type edges. Uh, that's basically the same one. You can just see how many different ones we do get. Um, and it's quite a few, you guys. It's quite a few that you get. I believe I paid like $4 and some change for them, but I think it's worth it. Look at all this. Look at all this yumminess. And I'm also going to be molding these. So I'll have, um, you know, resin uh, made out of some of these as well. So let me just clear all this up and I'll be right back with you guys and uh, show you guys the next item. All right, my friends, the next item up is this cute little mold. Um... These super cute um, molds. It's got like these belt buckles on it. And this is um, the resin piece that comes out. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know that my light sometimes is super, super bright. How do I fix that? Look how glowy it is. Maybe I'll put it up against um, something like this. Maybe. There we go. Hopefully you guys are able to see the texture a little bit better. But it's got nice texture to it. Originally I thought that these kind of buckled into each other, but they don't. Um, they're just two different buckle types. And these are going to be available in the shop very soon. Um, it also has the piece right here that um, you can do the belt, but for this piece you have to do it with clay because you obviously can't pour resin on that, um, but we'll see. Definitely the two buckles I'm going to be including in the shop, um, and these will be the resin pieces. I'm also going to try to see if I can have uh, some of them that are already be curved so that you have, if you're going to put them like on a box or something like that, then you have that straight angle. So I'm going to have them straight and also curved. I will try the curve for you guys. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. Um, I will try to come back and uh, give you guys prices, but if I if I tell, if I forget because it's like a crazy day today, um, then just make sure to ask me in the description area down below if you're really interested in finding out what this is in the comment section. I mean, and I will let you guys know. Okay, this is the next one. Is this compass? I was actually expecting them to send me one this color because I believe it's from the same designer. I could be mistaken, but I believe it's from the same designer. I'm not sure. Um, but I was hoping that they will send it to me in this material. This is a lot tougher, a lot thicker. This is very kind of flimsy. However, it still did a really nice impression. And this is basically what it looks like. Um, this is about the size of my hands. Um, and this one has uh, like glitter in it. It's got like um, pink little glitter bits that fell into the into the resin as I was mixing it. But it still comes out pretty good. You can see how deep that impression is. So it gives you a really nice, um, deep, crisp uh, edge. 
And it also comes with a little spinster, a spindle, a however you say that. So it comes with that as well. So super cute. Um, again, awesome, awesome buy. I will have this as well in the shop. All of these resins, uh, all of these molds and all of these resins that I'm showing you guys, these are samples for the resin pieces that I'm going to be carrying at happydaycrafts.com. Before I forget, if you haven't checked out my challenge, um, it's the, uh, the challenges for the lost and founds. And it's basically a, a challenge for you guys to find ornate, um, you know, items, things that are not of any use to you, things that would look really cool if they were molded. Um, for the hopes of creating different types of molds and different types of resins that you normally wouldn't find. So uh, definitely make sure that you check that out. I will leave a link to that or a card above or a link down below. So if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. The price is going to be a plethora of resin pieces, all different, different kinds, you guys. So next up is another kit that I purchased. Um, I got this one from eBay, though, not from AliExpress. And this one comes with a whole bunch of cool things. I have some things that I've created here on the side. And I did go ahead and test this out. And I believe it was like 12 bucks. Super, super inexpensive. I do have some pet peeves with it. <laughs> but I think that overall the quantity was really good for the price. Um, so you do get this uh, dome. You get this, uh, this little sphere. So this kind of closes up like that. And then you kind of pour from the top. I haven't done this one yet because this is going to require a lot of resin. So I haven't quite done the, the sphere yet. But that's definitely something that I'm going to be trying out. You also have the bracelet, which I'm not too happy with. It's got a diamond um, kind of pattern in the inside. This is the famous bracelet, you guys. Um... On an average, it wouldn't even fit my hands. Like, it's so teeny. This is more for, like, a child. Um, you wanted to make them for, like, kids. This probably would be a perfect size for, like, a child. And I had to snap it just to be able to... I clipped it with a scissor just to be able to, you know, put it on. However, I really don't like how it finishes. I don't like... Uh, you, you have to do a lot of sanding, a lot of smoothing on the top edge because it doesn't dome out all the way around. Now, I'm sure that you could probably dome them. So that it has like a uniform kind of look or once you're done, then you can probably go back in here and, you know, put it the other way around. Maybe. I don't know, but maybe you could, uh, you know, mold this twice so that you can have the same look. But this is the shape of it. And I did two tone uh, resin pouring on this just to kind of see how it looks, which is why it's two colors, you guys. I did do two tones and there is glitter. And all kinds of stuff in here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But again, it's so small that it's basically for a child. And the ring. <laughs> the ring, you guys. I, I don't know where I would fit this ring, honestly. <laughs> it wouldn't even, like, fit my fingers. So definitely this would be more geared towards, like, kids um, and cosplay, stuff like that. However, but it was, you know, overall it was so good. Um... We have this right here, which has like a whole bunch of like little gems. And I made a few to test it out. This is all done with UV resin, you guys. So we have like the little, um, the little gems. And I didn't color them in because I actually like them clear like that. I like them to look like glass. And that's basically what it looks like. Super, super cute. you guys can see that and you have all kinds of shapes you have hearts you have all different kinds of shapes in here so sometimes when you see these kits and the pictures they don't really you know it's, it looks a little bit deceiving because you think that you're going to get like a full size um sheet you know like a full size mold but sometimes it's just small like this <laughs> But it still works. It still works. And you have just about every shape from teardrops, to little stars, little hearts. Um, you have squares. You have, like, just about every single shape in here. Um, you have a whole bunch of little dots that you can create. Like, if you want to do, like, a whole bunch of little dots, you can also do that. So it comes with that. I just made a few of, the, a few of those. And it also brings this mold here, which is, like, a keychain mold. 
Now I have seen molds that are similar to this in larger sizes, but this is the one that came with this. So I'm super happy about that because my goal is to make um, some of these uh, as, you know, like little gifts for the shop. So like when you place an order, um, you know, to make like keychains and stuff like that that I can put in with the order as a thank you um, along with other little goodies here and there. And those of you guys that shop uh, at my shop know what I mean. I always try to add a little something, something in there, even if it's not much. Um, just as a gratitude or as a way for me to say thank you and appreciating you guys coming to my shop and, you know, indulging in my designs. <laughs> now, obviously, these are not going to be my designs. Let me go to this one, which is the next one. This is another one that is um, basically the same thing with the key, uh, like the key, the keychain uh, mold. And we have a puzzle piece here, which is super cute. Um, and yeah, so you get two nice big ones. You get this ring and this bracelet, which is not much of either one. But for a child, it would be perfect. Um, you also get this one with the jewels. You get all these little um, pillars, which is basically what I'm going to call them. You have a diamond shape. This one's more of a square. A circle and this one has like little uh, lines coming down the side so it's gonna have some kind of pattern to it and this is a solid circle so you get these four these five actually here's another uh, oh this one's kind of like a like pointed I'm gonna have to try this one to see how it, the shape of it but it's like a different shape inside I think it comes to a finer um, kind of like to a finer point at the end um, so I'll have to definitely check that one out this one's just regular. Yeah, that one's just regular. So you get five of those uh, little pillar molds. And then you get these little tiny um, little ones, which I probably won't use these as much. This is like a little kitty cat. We have a little triangle and a little square. And again, I probably won't try these out as often or at all probably. As well as, um, oh, let me show you real quick, you guys. Let me go ahead and show you. So this is the pillar. And if you guys checked out my haul uh, that I did for the water slides, then you'll, you'll recognize um, some of the things that I have here. Now let me go ahead and just try to balance that out at the same time. Take off my autofocus so I can manually autofocus. And here we go. So you guys see the little butterfly in there. And I know it's hard to see because I made it everything kind of blue. And sorry you guys if my nails are a little bit icky. I've been painting and working and right now I'm literally trying to distress. Um, but when you have it up close to souls, thinking cute, you guys, oh my goodness. And I found the little hack, or I don't know if, you know, I'm not going to say that I found it, but I stumbled upon a little bit of a hack when it came to the stickiness of the resin. So I have a video um, talking about this resin that I use, which I literally had a lot of issues with, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I literally had a lot of issues with, but I'm starting to kind of figure it out. Um, the bottle's almost empty, so it took a long learning process for me to, like, figure this thing out. Um, and I've watched a lot of videos on all different types of resins that you could get from Amazon and even ones that you could get from China. So I, I've seen, like, oh, my goodness, I don't even know how many. I'm trying to find solutions for the issues that I was dealing with. But I think that in, there was really no solution. <laughs> just kind of like a workaround. You just... It's another step that you're going to have to end up doing in order to make them not sticky. So I'll share that with you guys um, in an upcoming video as well as make some of these with you guys. Because that was my plan um, from before was to actually make some of these live. But it's always something and I keep getting caught up. And I've spent this whole week um, painting in my house. Like painting everything, you guys. My, my home was pretty large and everything was painted. But doesn't that look super cute? That looks adorable. These are some of the other ones that I made um, with the other kit that I don't think I got to share with you guys. Um, and these are dried flowers from, like, flowers that my daughter gave me for my birthday. So, like, 
these are like dry flowers from like forever ago <laughs> and um here i try to do a little bit of experimenting with my regular resin which is the fast cure resin um in combination with the uv resin it didn't work out too too well so i have to work at that a little bit more but it's got like little glitter butterflies and all the little plants are in there it's got glitter and butterflies <laughs> um this is the other one and again these are from flowers that um just dried flowers just regular dried flowers that i had there from my daughter who gave me um a beautiful bouquet for my birthday and i just kind of still had them there so again i used um some glitter mixes these glitter mixes were um given to me by tanya who's um New York freestyles at all. Sorry, Tanya. I kept thinking, I'm like, is it the other name of this day? Um, so it's uh, Tanya, who is New York freestyles at all. Uh, she's a nail tech as well as other things. This lady is extremely talented. Um, and she gifted me, or well, I won actually from her channel, um, like a whole slew of like all these different beautiful glitter mixes. And some of them have like little butterflies in them. Some of them have like little things. I'm going to have to start like getting some of this stuff. And like hauling some of these like little butterflies and like these little confetti things because oh my god look at the back in the back you can see how like all the little glitters and butterflies and all of that stuff like it's super cute okay um so oh this is from the other gem so this is like a colored uh gem and again i, I do something with my resin um sometimes to leave it clear but i think that this is yeah this is actually uv resin so um and this is with my one of my dyes from here, one of my inks from here. All right, so that's that. It also came with all these little goodies here. So we have um, four pipe, five pipettes. So I totally needed that. We have this screw thing, which is a pain in the butt to use. Like, oh my goodness! But it's cool that they included that. And then the little baggy um, with all the little things. Uh, this one does have, I added it on there. So this one does have it. And then one thing of glitter, um, all these little spoons, and then these other little like mixing spoons, um, as, regular, as well as these regular um, spoons. So that's basically, nope, one more. I got one more, um, one more to show you guys. So if you bear with me, I'll pull that real quick. And I will be right back. All right, you guys. And the last one um, for today's video is going to be this one right here. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how big. Super, super big. It's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's at least seven inches and some change. Um, by one, two, three, four. Four, like four and a half um this is what it looks like once it's all molded look at all that detail and you guys these are going to be the goodies that are going to be included um the mold the, the resin pieces that i'm going to be including you're going to get a whole plethora of resins you guys like a whole plethora of resins but in order to win that you have to participate so make sure that you check out that video and um you know comment down below if you're going to be a participant in that challenge or not um well let me know if you're going to be a participant in that challenge either way you guys thank you thank you thank you so much um i will do my best to add the information in the description area but you guys sometimes i really don't like to do that uh too too much because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of these things are from like AliExpress and stuff like that. So if you're interested in anything that I've, sh um, I've shown here as far as the mold and you would like to know where, just uh, let me know uh, through my social media, either through Facebook or through Instagram, and then I'll send you a link directly from there. Um, and yeah, you guys, I want to thank you all so, so much for stopping by my channel and checking it out. I am so, so super excited. And like I said, I do have... Um, a whole bunch more on the way well not a whole whole bunch but definitely i do have still quite a few to um to unbox and share with you guys and i will try to do um you know the little demos 
pour them so that you guys can see what they look like and stuff like that. Um, but these are super, super cool. I think that they will look amazing on just about all different types of projects. So, you guys, with that being said, I want to wish you all a happy, happy, happy Friday. And I want to thank you all so, so much for stopping by my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell, you guys, because if you don't hit the bell, then you're going to miss out on little surprise giveaways, little things here and there that I might share with you guys. You're definitely going to miss out on, like, my tips and my tricks and, like, all those different types of things, plus the amazing projects that we create here on this channel. So I want to say thank you so much again. And I hope that you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and definitely hit that bell if you haven't done so. And sound off down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this haul. I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.